All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are doing something exciting. We are gonna look at some tractors. So we got rid of the old uh, 1969 Ford 4000 when we moved out to the new homestead in the woods. And now it is time for us to uh, look at some options for a new tractor, something that will suit the landscape and the tasks that we, we have ahead of us. So we have a steep driveway we need to take care of. We have a lot of rocks to move around. We have some probably difficult post holes to dig at some point. Uh, and uh, we just need a, a good utility uh, a tool to, to take care of things around the homestead. So uh, we're, we're here at a, a kind of a local place. Well, it's not really local anymore. Right. It, this, it, it's actually closer to our old house than the new house. And uh, we are going to look at some Kubota tractors today and take a look and see what they have uh, to offer. So uh, let's take a look. I don't know. This They don't have a lot in stock. Last time I was here, they had a lot more. But uh, So we'll, we'll kind of look at some of these. This is, uh, I don't know, I didn't really want to buy a new. I know some of you guys, uh, some of you guys said don't buy a new Kubota, so we'll see. Yeah, let's, that's the one. Except it just won't really fit up our driveway. So it'd be nice to have something that everything worked on versus our old, our old tractor. So that, that'd be an advantage. So we, uh, well, we went in and talked with them for a while, about 45 minutes. Yeah. And really nice guy, name was Todd, so obviously a nice guy. <laughs> and uh, He was nice. We got a lot of options. It's a lot of money to buy a new tractor. So yeah. we got we to gotta think about this. We got to weigh our options out and, and kind of let it sink in a little bit. And uh, we're looking around at used stuff, and we're just trying to think of what implements we need to get. Do we need, do we need a snowblower? Do we need yeah. a back blade? Do we need... You know, more horsepower, less horsepower, what, bigger, smaller, what tires, there's a lot of options to think about. So, I don't know. Um, there was two models we were looking at. One was the, the, the one that he showed us in the Sherman was the B series. It was a small one, but it was a 20, I think it was 23 or 26 horsepower. And then there was an LX series, which was a 26 horsepower. Which one do you want? I want... I'm not really partial in this one. I have no <laughs> idea, but I want you to have what you need. And I thought both were great. Um, I definitely think Kubota is the one we want to go with. I think so too. We look for used. Um, it seems like they hold their value pretty yeah. well. I kind of like the bigger one better just because of that hill we've got. Yeah. But maybe it won't roll over as easy. Yeah. So we'll think about it and then uh, maybe we'll we'll stop back up there or give the guy a call and we'll tell you we'll tell you what we decided we'll, uh, we'll let you know he's hopefully. really thinking things through and it's freaking me out because i don't know what you're gonna do i don't either i don't like spending money so we'll see yeah. well it's been uh, a few days a few weeks actually since we uh had thought about buying a tractor and i think we have uh we've made a decision and so today we get the exciting uh delivery uh, of the tractor that we decided to go with and so uh, we've been waiting patiently this morning and I think that they are here you excited are you gonna drive this tractor yeah. <laughs> once, he, once he puts the tire on it All right, so here it is, the new Kubota. And we looked at quite a few different different options and different models, but this is what we ended up going with. This is the LX series, the LX2610. So it's 26 horsepower. I think it's 18 uh, on the back at the PTO. A little smaller than the old tractor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit. The, the old tractor, the, this tractor could fit in the hood of the old tractor, I think. But it has everything we need for, for this property. So the main thing that we can now care for this, uh, this long kind of steep driveway, uh, we can haul things around, we can get into the forest and get wood. Uh, we can maneuver through trees. It's small enough to get in and out of where we need to get in and out of and do the work that we need to do here on the, the woodland uh, homestead. So 
I think it's going to work perfect. I had a back blade with it. I didn't get any other attachments. Uh, we'll get those, anything else we need down the road. But I did get a new back blade, uh, so we can use that mainly for the for the driveway right off the bat. So it starts right up. I think you can even drive it. I think the I think the girls could drive it. It's actually it looks pretty easy. Well, I got to play around with a grader with the uh, back weight here a little bit, but man, is this nice. It, uh, it, it certainly has plenty of power. Uh, full wheel drive is uh, one of the, the biggest reasons that we, we got it. Um, the uh, tires, uh, these are kind of a, a more aggressive tire, which I think will be good for traction, again, on that steep driveway. And these are loaded as well, so they did, they did uh, load these for me. So I think this is gonna work out really well. Uh, 26 horsepower diesel and uh, it has all the the features and functions that that I need right now you can also get uh, mid mount uh, things you know I could get a mower for it or something like that if I wanted to snowblower uh, attachments um, yeah, I'm looking at a wood chipper possibly to throw on the three point so we can get in the woods and make some of our own wood chips with a lot of the brush and things but uh, it is certainly certainly a good little tractor already. I can tell it's gonna be nice and easy for everyone to use. Uh, my wife can get out here and use it if she needs to. It's all hydrostatic. You know, you just press here to go forward and, and press back there to go in reverse. The uh, bucket has a pretty easy lever here for the, for the control of that. Um, it does have, it wasn't low, low speed mode or whatever. There's a low, medium, and high that gives you different speed ranges. And uh, it was going pretty quick, I think, for, for low speed. So I guess if I needed to take it out on the road, I could throw it in high gear, road gears, and, and go faster, so. Well, it certainly is nice to have a tractor that uh, not only starts uh, all the time, uh, has power steering, 
uh, the brakes work. <laughs> Just the simple things in life. So. Uh, it's, it's, it looks like this is going to be a good tractor, a good fit for the homestead here. Um, I wanted to go with something new this time rather than going with something used because this is such an important part of the whole operation that we have here with uh, wood and uh, you know anything else that we do around here, uh, landscaping, even you know normal stuff, animal stuff, moving compost around, building garden beds, uh, putting in gardens, planting fruit trees, like all these things that we're going to be doing uh, over the next year and years to come. Uh, will be centered around this and also this driveway was a huge part of that this is a, a really steep hill here and i needed something that was full drive that i could get up and down and uh, plow this driveway probably work on getting a, a salt spreader of some sort and uh, see if we can get uh, um, uh, like a, a three-point salt spreader so that i can use to go up and down the driveway as well and so that was kind of the main reasons for this purchase now a lot of people you know this is a big difference you know this is a little subcompact tractor it's 26 horse it's not not the big you know old ford uh, agricultural tractor that we used to have and that's really because of the difference in what we're doing here right so if i were to go out and get an old used heavy monster tractor it wouldn't really fit all of the needs that we have at, at this homestead we've got hills we've got narrow places we've got the forest to be you know getting in and out of um and so uh, i think this is going to work out well i think it's small enough to get in and around where i need to to have it and i think it's powerful enough to do the work that we need to do and so some of you may have the question you know did kubota sponsor this or did they give you know no i bought this tractor um unfortunately <laughs> out of my own pocket uh and they uh, uh they were really great though at the kubota dealership and so I'll do a lot more on this tractor. I will uh, give you an overview. Once I get to know things better and how things work, I, I went out and played around on the road, you know, put it in high gear. It goes pretty quick on the on the road, actually. Tested out the full-wheel drive and just played with some things. But once I get to know the tractor a little better, I'll take you guys through, you know, what I like, what I don't like about it, and we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there um, and uh, and show you, show you what it's all about. So, but I'd love to get your feedback. What do you think of the Kubota LX2610? Uh, what do you think of the choice? Uh, I'll take good or bad feedback. It's fine. I guess it's too late now. I already have it. I'm not taking it back. So, <laughs> But uh, it should be pretty fun. So look forward to seeing the tractor in a lot of upcoming videos. We'll do some, we'll do lots of fun stuff with this thing. So I can't wait to get in the woods. I've got some trees down. I'm ready to get in there and, and get this tractor down into this big valley by our house and start working up the hill and clearing out a sledding hill and possible zip line and other things for animals and chicken coops and kind of work on my way through and get a bunch of wood collected so that'll be coming up soon look forward to those things of course if it's your first time here subscribe if you want to tag along follow along with all the fun don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video just reach down tap thumbs up for me makes a big difference on how these videos are viewed and watched and ranked and all that good stuff so as always guys thanks for watching have a good one